Hello, my name is Peter Abrich. I'm one of the lead developers on the Safehouse project and in this short video I'm going to show you how to make a self-extracting encrypted storage vault with Safehouse Explorer. What I mean by a self-extracting uh, encrypted file is that you won't need any third-party application or even Safehouse Explorer to open these files up. The only thing you'll need is a password. That means uh, it's, in the end it's going to look like a standard Windows program file, uh, a .exe file if you're used to that. And uh, all you need to do is double click on the .exe file like you're going to run any other Windows program you might be familiar with and up will pop Safehouse Explorer asking you for the password. But you won't have to have your own copy of Safehouse Explorer. It's actually embedded and built right into the file that we're going to create. What you're looking at right here is my empty memory stick. So I'm going to actually pull double duty in, in this video and I'm going to uh, put the self-extracting file onto my memory stick and that way we can see just another way that uh, we can use Safehouse Explorer very uh, conveniently with memory sticks. This technique is not limited to memory sticks. It also works very nicely with hard drives or even email attachments or archive storage on DVDs and CD-ROMs. So I'm going to minimize this uh, to start with and I'm going to pull up a, an existing copy of Safehouse Explorer that I have running and you can see that I have some files showing here which is the same uh, protected storage container that I've been using throughout my video series. In order to make a self-extracting uh, volume for one of my existing volumes, I need to start off by closing it. I cannot make an, a volume uh, self-extracting if it's already still open in Safehouse Explorer. So let me close that. And I'll move over to the Tools menu where I can say Make Self-Extracting Volume. Here you'll see it's filled in the information by default for the last volume that I uh, used. And the only thing I'm going to change here so I want to put this on my memory stick, so I'm going to do that. There we go. And all I need to do is hit start. This will take about a minute, so I'm going to skip forward here through the magic of uh, screencasting. Okay, we've just finished up. I'm going to click the close button to shut down this dialog. And we're done with this copy of Safehouse Explorer, so I'm going to close that as well. Now I'll pop back over to my memory stick, and you'll see right here that we now have a copy of Safehouse Explorer, I mean the uh, Safehouse volume. And uh, it's actually a, a combination file that's got both Safehouse Explorer, the program file, and my Safehouse volume file all built into one, which means I can just double click this, put in my password, and up pops Safehouse Explorer. And there's my files. Now, one of the things you'll notice here is that this is not the full version of Safehouse Explorer. Whenever you put a volume into a self extracting uh, executable, we, we run with a, a limited version of Safehouse Explorer. And we do this on purpose. It's because we know that you'll probably be sending this to other people and we don't want them to have to learn anything or know anything about Safehouse Explorer. So all we have is the bare minimum, you know, just like Windows Explorer, just to get them up and going. So you can just double click the file, enter your password just like we did, and have immediate access to your files, not having to know about or learn about anything else. You can drag and drop here just like you normally would with Safehouse Explorer or Windows Explorer. And when you're done, you can just close up, just like you'd always do. And it's that simple. And I'll just close this as well. That's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.